Look who it is. That stranger who does weird videos around St. Helens looking for bits of old things and stuff. Do you remember me? It's been about a month or something since I've done a proper video, hasn't it? So, I'm in my playground, Stanley Bank Woods, and uh, Aaron's behind me somewhere on the camera, there he is. So, we'll go in for a walk through Stanley Bank Woods, as usual, because we've not done enough walks through Stanley Bank Woods on this channel. Um, but the sole purpose and objective is to go and see the ice house. I think it was Lord Gerard's plantation, ice house plantation, or Gerard's Garswood ice house. I'll check the maps. And uh, I'll actually put its actual name up. But these eyes out, see, there were a few of them. And to the untrained eye, you wouldn't even know that they're there. But there is one still standing. I found it just on a random mooch through the woods about 10 years ago. Uh, so 10 years later, when I got into the exploring stuff, I know it's there. And I know that not many people know it's there. So, yeah. That's where we're going. We've got such a lovely woodland here. Very mucky today. We love a bit of muck. I told you, what did I tell you? Tomorrow we'll be back out and about as usual. Aaron knows what's coming. He'll, that, he knows that four or five days of this now. Yeah. <sighs> it's going to be fun. Absolutely love the uh, tree line here. Uh, so yeah I don't know much history on the Ice House Plantation itself um, There used to be A mineral railway that ran in front of it Or behind it um, I think that was named Lord Gerard's Railway And we've covered that But I'll come and show you it in a bit When we're on our way back but that used to do about a five mile loop from to Carmel, across the fields from Carmel, uh, the farmer's fields to the Ice House Plantation, going past like Garswood Hall, oh, Garswood Hall Park or whatever it was called. I'll put that name in the description too. Um, so it passed there, down what is now Stanley Bank Way or the New Road or Haydock Link Way, whatever you want to call it and its terminus was at Stanley Bank. But, um, it was used to uh, get coal from, say, Pewfall Colliery, Blackbrook Colliery, right down to the canal. You can follow them tracks, uh, even to this day, uh, quite well. It's only around here where the, you lose them. That's where you go off maps. So we walk around this bend, there's a spend in it, yeah. We've got some little secret air raid shelter, a bunker in the woods here. Um, so far, no one's been able to tell me what or why it's here. Uh, I'm just going off an air raid shelter because it looks very similar to a few local ones around here. That's the East Lanks Road there. We'll be crossing that in a second. Let's go and have a look at the bunker. Tree fell. We told you. We knew that one was coming down. Which means there is something here. There must be. If that's not rooting under here for some reason. So there might actually be something here. The bunker, it runs about 30 feet, 20, 30 feet. And it's just full of rubbish now. It's just, con you can tell the construction of it. Um, kind of cut and covered. Ugh. But look at the place we've got. I don't know what this brook is here. Oh, bloody hell, it's quite damp down here. 
wild garlic growing. Oh, 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 yeah, this, um, this was the supply to Stanley Mill Dam. Which, if you follow this, where the paths depart, there's a big, um, there's a big trench. Uh, how, what to call it? Um, well, it's a dam in between the woods. Not many people know about that either. Stanley Bank Mill Dam. Or Stanley Mill Dam. Uh, it was dammed to provide power to the wheels that uh, blah, 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 supplied uh, to the bellows, I think. Crap in there, isn't it? Bit crap in there, isn't it? Yeah. There's a step at the bottom. I know, that's why people have said that there's something else. I've been told there's another room here next to it. But when we've dug next to it, we've came across nothing. Right, so from here I'm going to cross the lanks and we're going to go to our way ourselves. It's only going to be a 10 or 20 minute video, this. Um, I just don't know how much effort and energy I've got in me to walk around. I'm still recovering from the nasty corona. I just feel a bit sick at the moment, to be honest. Well, that's another thing. Different thing. So we're going to cross the lanks. I'm going to pause it. I'm not going to give the, the location away because I've got to cross the farmer's field. And he probably wouldn't be happy with loads of people crossing his field just to look at a brick igloo. But we'll see you in a minute. I'm here, uh, in the middle of, a, middle of a field. Like, literally in the middle of a field. In some woods in the middle of a field. Uh, so there's not really much reference for us for you to go off to see where we are. You've got to go on Google Maps or um, old maps to find this place. I came across it by accident when I was a kid. I, I travelled all over bloody Adok and these woods and lands. But we're going to start looking here at this. At this. Um, this is 300 years old. Maybe a bit less, 200, 300 years old. But we'll start with the brickwork on the side here. As a doorway or an entryway on both sides. There's brickwork. And you get to here. So I'm guessing the top of this would have been covered by brick and earth. But here you've got some sort of doorway. And I'm only guessing and hypothesising. But this would be full of ice. And you'd drop your food into here. Uh, to preserve it. And the dimensions is just like a brick igloo. Uh, well, Aaron's up on top of it. Can you... Uh, Second, <laughs> just be careful. Old brick works 200 years old. Uh, this corona thing too. Bloody hell, I've only done a 20 minutes walk. Intermediate. And my lungs are shot, to be honest. Oh, that's a good picture. Just get one too. You can see that. And that. Oh, let's get back here. So... This has obviously been dug out for a reason around here. When you look at old maps, it tells you Ice House Plantation here. So I don't know how many of these domes are actually in the woods. I think this is the only one left. Judging by the big pit here, there could have been one here too, and one there where the other big pit is. So we'll go and have a look around anyway, see if we see or what we can see. Big old barrels of oil, drums and stuff, some sort of water tank over there, a fuel tank. More drums. 
top of a barrel, isn't it? Or oh, painting. Wow. Oh, it's a hubcap. It's an old wheel. Mad. Some of the bottles around here too. Wow. That's actually, actually old. Yeah. Wow, that is old too. So the farmer has just used this land for a dump of all his stuff over the past 100 to 200, 300 years. See, there's loads of these uh, dips here. I think this is uh, this where the doorway is. Yeah, no, yeah. So in this ditch. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a ditch, ditch. A grinding stone, no way. There's a millstone here. There's two millstones. They look like grinding stones. They can't be 100%, but they look like it. Oh, that's quite uh, boggy down there. Boggy down. So there's something over here too. Loads of old uh, fence posts. Come on, we'll have a look in here. Yeah, loads of very old fence posts. <sighs> Load of scrap metal. Can't see much in there. Uh, what's that there? Oh, another old bottle. Big old uh, medicine bottle of sorts. I know, mate. It's weird, isn't it? So there's more of them bricks actually here. Could be from another ice house. Just having to look through these woods and then we'll scadaboosh. See, there's uh, some sort of dump. He, he's used this land as a dump. So more dumping fodder. Yeah. Just big concrete posts, the corrugated metal. Not corrugated, but <laughs> that lake though, I've never noticed that before. Could be where a uh, bomb dropped, literally. But through the woods now, we're just met with undergrowth. And I know for a fact to look through undergrowth like this. Bloody impossible. You don't really see much. Gotta wait till it's winter. So we're gonna cross back over the field now. Uh, plenty of pictures. We'll go back over to the ice house direction in a minute. We'll go over to here. Walk back over to the ice house and walk from there. Or across the field. So we've just got this now. And to traverse any of this, just no point. <sighs> yeah, we've, we've had a little look across the land, only a little look. We found some more evidence of ditches and stuff like that, where possibly more ice houses were. But there's only one still standing, as far as, far as I know around here. Um, owl box. No way. We won't disturb that. Having a look on the uh, outskirts of the woods now. Just hang around so you don't in face. Big chunk of quarried stone of some sort. Bird watchers. That articulated brick there. I am looking at all the stones by the trees, uh, just seeing what could be left. It's all quarried stone, like you can tell quarried stone because of how square and rounded or whatever it is. Oh, call interruption.
Station. So we've just been looking on the ground here, we found this uh, metal plate with the letter F on it. But the thing that's uh, interesting me the most is this. This is iron, that's just pure iron. That is more pure iron, listen. Hold on. Metal. That has just been quarried out, ready to use. More of it. Listen. This is all just like iron slag in here. Some more here. Ugh. There's just so much. And this is where this Lord Gerard's Railway uh, comes into play. That's a beautiful picture. Uh, the amount of uh, trade being used, the amount of materials coming through ADOC and through these tracks. Um, you've not just got... That's obsidian. You've not got just iron. You've got copper slag. You've got iron. You've got coal. Um, coal slag. Um, even Aaron's just pulled out a bit of uh, obsidian out the ground here. Not very good obsidian, but obsidian nonetheless. Um, so this lot, when you follow it and look along the tree lines and stuff, you find all the material that it used to use, that used to be traded between the places. And I find it absolutely incredible. See, there's a bit more iron here. Uh, <laughs> Aaron's got something here. So we've even got slate here. Is it? No, that's some more iron. <laughs> you could build a ship with what's here. Piece of concrete. Now we best uh, not stay around here for too long because we'll be pissing a farmer off and farmers don't like being pissed off. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, it is... How the hell do we get bits up there? Uh, pedal, very old pedal, stuck to something still. There's a buried bike here. There is literally a buried bike here. <laughs> no way. Um, so how do we get back up there? Flipping heck, Lewis, it's up that way. That's that water tank I pointed out before. Some more pictures, so we're gonna get pictures here. Oh, mucky muck. <coughs> One minute. So, on this side, that's all we see is. Trying to get as many angles as this as I can. Something I've been taught about going on roofs like this. Spread your weight. So I'm now literally lay on my belly. Right, let's get out of here. When you go through the woods today, you'll find a 200 year old ice house that's hiding in the middle of a field. Uh, kudos to the people who find it and know it's here. But yeah, 200 years old, still here. There used to be more of them around here, but they're all demolished. But you can tell where they all were, that's a good photo in itself. Little videos just for Facebook. That's what we're looking at. Told you I'd be out today. There's Aaron up on top of it like a madman up there. There you, there you go, one second, that's a good photo. Uh, but, yeah, hold on, see if I can, no, no. But yeah, things, ice house. Uh, I'll find out the name for it, but that's what we've done. So I'll see ya.
on YouTube in about three hours. It's gonna take ages for my video upload. See you soon.